In this video, I want to talk more about the pangram problem, and I want to solve it a different way. So a pangram, just as a refresher, it's a sentence where every letter of an alphabet is used at least once. For example, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, or the five boxing wizards jump quickly. And what we can take advantage of is that in English, um, there's an ASCII table that you can look at to see which character code each character in the alphabet corresponds to. And even though Java is Unicode, the first part of the Unicode character sets are typically the same as this ASCII table. So what we're going to look through is to see if each of the uh, letters of the alphabet have been used before. And we're going to keep track of this in an array. So we're going to convert each character to its character code and then increment a a position in an array if it's been used before. And we're going to make sure that 97 through 122 were all used. So first we have an array that's going to represent the ASCII characters being used and it's going to be 128 uh, long. So I'm going to start with a, an array and what I'm going to do is go over each character in the pangram. So I'm converting our string into a character array and lower casing it. And what we're going to do is convert this character into an integer. And you don't have to do the cast, but I'm going to do the cast just so you can explicitly see what's happening here. And we're going to do one more trick because Java is Unicode. So you could potentially have a character that falls way outside the range of this ASCII table. So what we're going to do is say if and then what we'll do here is increment it. And again by default, as you probably know in an array, these default to zeros if you allocate the size. So now that we've got our table filled out, we should be able to see that these have been uh, incremented for the positions that we want where our uh, letters are. So let's just check that. Yeah, towards the end we have a bunch of ones and some twos and a four. So that looks just about correct. I think what we'll do, you know what, actually let's not do this. Let's just do one loop and we'll break the loop. So we'll say for 97. So we're gonna start right at 97 and we're going to go to 122 and we'll do it inclusive even though normally in loops in Java you're going to do it exclusive and we're going to say if uh, ASCII for that position equals zero we must have not used that and we'll say CISO And at this point, we can break the program. So we'll exit with an error code because it's not a pangram. And if we didn't get that far, then it must be a pangram. So 
So what's happening here is if we find a zero, it means that one of those letters was not used between A and Z. It is a pangram. So let's try and remove a W. Not a pangram, just as we would expect. So this is a much more robust way to check if a sentence is a pangram or not, since we're actually doing a check that's kind of like a positive check rather than a negative check. Thanks for watching.